What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian and today we're going to be talking about this new Zeke 10,000 pound winch that I bought uh, to use kind of in an unconventional way. Uh, this is not for four wheeling, uh, rock crawling, anything like that. I'm using this winch to attach to my garage floor in order to get my little mini RV camper in and out. So it's not your typical application for the size of a winch. I bought the Zeke 5,500 pound winch with a cable line and the cable uh, has got quite a few kinks in it. I'm kind of getting worried about it. And, and when I use it to, to get my camper out down the driveway and when I'm pulling it back in, I'm always, the, the cable's always getting bound up on itself. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but I'm hoping that having a synthetic line's going to alleviate some of that binding up of that cable rope. So this is way more than enough, but the way I look at it is, is if a 5,500 pound winch works pretty good, then a 10,000 pound winch should work even better. Bigger is always better, right? I hope so. So, uh, and also guys, this, uh, I bought this. Zeke didn't send it to me. I didn't ask for them to send it to me. I bought the 5,500 pound winch. I liked it. It works well. Um, so I, I tend to like this company so far. Um, of course, it's a China brand winch, 98 and a half percent of winches are these days. Um, and I'm not going to go out and buy a $5,000 worn winch to use in my application. This is not a life or death scenario winching scenario for me. But uh, anyway, I wanted to get a, a pretty heavy duty winch. My driveway has a pretty big slope to it. I got a pretty big lip to get over in my driveway. And even with the 5,500 pound winch, you can hear it struggle the trailer when I'm pulling it in to get up that lip. I do have a couple of little ramps that I built to put on that lip that goes into the garage, but still, again, 10,000 pounds, why not? Uh, it should be more than adequate. I think this synthetic line, this 3 8 inch synthetic line is rated to like 22,000 pounds, which is silly because it's a 10,000 pound winch, but maybe you guys that are in the winching world know better than I do, but that's just what was on the specs. Now, this thing is a hoss. This thing probably weighs 50 pounds. It's huge. Um, and it comes with around an average of 100 feet of 3 8 inch synthetic line, blah, blah, blah. That's not that important for me. I'm not going to need, I'm, again, I'm not using it for, for four wheeling, but you know, super heavy duty, uh, clevis hook, uh, it comes with a, a pretty nice little aluminum Haas fair lead, 10 inch centers, some mounting hardware, some pretty thick gauge. I don't know what gauge this is, but it's thick. Um, negative terminal leads and your solenoid here that's all wired up and it comes with a wired remote here that plugs directly into this solenoid <clears throat> if you want to use it wired you just plug it straight into there um, but this is also and why i bought this model it's wireless too so the way that i use a winch is i get in front of my rv and i winch it out down the driveway, kind of guiding it with the tongue of the trailer where I want it to go. Um, so a, a corded remote wouldn't work in my situation, but this really isn't a, a huge review on the actual winch and all the specs of it. They're on Amazon. You can check it out. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm going to install it to my garage floor. So I had to go buy, and I didn't realize it when I bought this, but um, I had to order the Zeke winch mounting plate. plate. This did not come with a mounting plate. So I don't have any really, I don't have a good way to mount it to the garage floor. And this does not obviously have a mounting plate for the fair lead. So the mounting plate has got a lip that comes up that the fair lead attaches to in front of the winch. So I, I do have a quarter inch. I was going to use this, this eight by 10 quarter steel plate, which is more than enough to fit on the, on the bolt pattern of the winch. However, I don't have a way to attach the fair lead to it. I could weld up a couple of brackets, but I don't want to do that. So I just bought an actual mounting base plate for this winch. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to install this to my garage floor uh, and give you a showcase of how the winch works. But so far, overall, fit and finish of this thing seems really, really nice. It's, it's three times the size of the 5,500 pound winch probably four times the weight. I'm not kidding guys, this thing's heavy. I can't imagine putting this on a, on a, on a Jeep, but it's, you know, you guys do that. Um, but it, it, so far it seems nice. You know, you got your clutch, it's smooth. Uh, but other than that, 
let's just get to installing this thing and make sure that it works the way that I want it to work. So here we go. So this is how this, this, this particular winch is wired up. I've got the solenoid box just placed loosely on top of the winch itself. Um, in order to actually get this thing more permanent, all you're going to do is unscrew these little Phillips head screws and then push this thing down over this bar and then tighten it back up. Um, you can scoot this thing to the left and right based on your applications if you need more room to the left or the right, whatever. But here's really a simple way. This is how this thing's wired up. So all you're going to need is uh, a half inch wrench right here. And we're going to start here with this grounding post on the bottom of the motor. And you're going to want to run the small grounding wire to this post. And then this is going to be your negative post. It's going to go directly to your battery. So we're just going to install that here. We're going to put our washer on and our nut. Now we've got this small black wire here with a yellow boot. That is going to go onto this post here. And I know that because I'm looking at the directions, but also because there is a yellow collar on the base of this post. So this is going to go onto this one. <clears throat> and that leaves you with this middle red lead the second from the left is actually going to go directly to your battery as well so leave that alone you have this positive lead coming off which is the third from the left it is going to go to this post right here. So, same thing. Washer, lock, lock, oh, lock washer, and then your nut. And your final negative lead from the far right of the solenoid is going to go into this bottom post down here on the motor. And give everything a good tighten down and get these boots that come installed on the leads, get them put over, and then you are basically set up. Um, of course, you're going to want to tighten, tighten this down, and I'll show you that here. So to tighten down the solenoid box, literally just unscrew these screws that have a little bit of Loctite come, that come pre-installed on it. And you can see how it just kind of snaps into place there. And for right now, I'm just going to center it. I'm not worried about this fitting inside a bumper or anything. So just give it a pretty good little tighten. That's all she wrote. So that is how you wire up this winch. And again, when, when this is all done and you're ready to, to test this thing out, you've got your negative lead that is going to go direct to your battery. And you've got your positive lead with the circuit breaker pre-installed that's going to go directly to your battery. So these are the only two things that are going to be coming off of the winch that are going to be going to your battery. Everything else is ready to go. So with that, now it's time to get this thing installed. So the new mounting plate just, just arrived and I unboxed it and I'm a little bit shocked. Uh, this, this is <laughs> absolutely 100% overkill for what I need. Um, 36 inches wide, uh, this thing's huge. For comparison, here is the mounting plate for my 5,500 pound winch. So um, it's almost uh, comical how much bigger this thing is. But what I'm gonna do, since I already had some holes drilled into the concrete in my uh, garage already for this mounting plate, I can utilize two of these holes already um, for this mounting base plate. So I'm just gonna put this toward the back and I'm gonna trace two holes that I already have drilled into the concrete. Most of the holes in the concrete I'll not be able to utilize because they're kind of underneath this drum on the winch, so I'm not gonna be able to use them. So I'm gonna try to use at least two of them. So I'm gonna get two of these holes drilled, get the winch mounted, place this on the garage floor, and then I'm going to drill again into my garage, the floor, these four um, pre-drilled holes for that. Now I'm using 3 8 inch bolts 
and these holes that come with it do not look big enough so I'm probably going to have to struggle to get these a, a bigger to get my 3 8 inch uh, concrete bolts to, to fit in but that's what we're going to do now so let's get started. All right, so I've got the winch mounted to the base plate. Um, got the holes drilled out to fit my 3 8 inch concrete bolts. Now we are going to move this thing to the garage where it's gonna have a new home and try to get the concrete drilled out um, and get this thing squared up and hopefully it works. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so as you might hopefully can see, I've got six holes in here already drilled out for the old base plate. So I'm just use, I can only use these two back ones. And I am using these 3 8 inch by 3 inch Simpson concrete bolts. And the first thing I'm going to do is get this plate mounted because I know that these two holes make my winch square. So if I can get these two holes lined up with the new holes I drilled in the base plate, I'll be able to drill the rest of the concrete holes using the, the, the mounting blade as a, as a template. So let's try to get this thing. Okay, what I've got here is the Sika Pro Select uh, anchoring adhesive. Um, and these things are a, are a beast because there's a two part epoxy. And I'm hoping that this gun's got the right gear ratio to, to mix this. So we'll try. Okay, if you guys are gonna use this, you wanna make sure that you squirt out about the first capful because this epoxy has to mix inside this tube and the black for me only came out not the gray so it didn't mix so I had to go shoot out about half half the nozzle so I think we're good now Let's put this back over the holes and try to get these first two holes mounted in. So I got those two bolts in finally. Um, now I'm just going to use this base plate as my template to drill out these four holes on both sides. And I'm just using these washers as spacers to go underneath since there's bolts holding on the, uh, the actual winch itself. It's 
keeping this plate from sitting flush on the ground. Okay guys, so that's basically all it takes to bolt this thing down to the garage floor. Um, I got lucky I didn't run into any rebar. Uh, that could happen. Uh, there are rebar drill bits that you can buy. They're very expensive if you need to drill through the rebar, but I got lucky. And out of 10 bolts, uh, I didn't hit a single piece of rebar. So we're good there. I'm going to get this thing kind of cleaned up a little bit, get all the concrete dust off of it. And then I'm going to show you guys uh, this thing in action. So let's get that done. Okay, everyone, that is a wrap for the install of this Zeke 10,000 pound winch, 3.8 synthetic rope, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll put the, the link, uh, it's an Amazon link, I'll put that in the, in the description if you're curious about it. It's an affiliate link, gotta say that. But um, overall, super impressed with this thing. Again, it is, you know, super heavy. It's, it's extreme overkill for what I need. I know, I get it. But to me, bigger is always better. So 
that's it guys for a wrap if you have any questions about it you know precisely how i install this to the to the floor let me know shoot me a comment but overall it's pretty easy i just it's just three eighths inch concrete bolts but um overall really happy with it it didn't even it i didn't even hear it hiccup once coming up the lip um it's probably twice as fast as my 5500 pound winch reeling it in and reeling it out so that's the only difference with me is that i, I also use this winch to reel out it's not just pulling it in, but I've got to slowly reel it out down the slope of my driveway or else this trailer is going flying down my street. So I'm, I, I, I got to use the winch both ways, coming out and coming in. So anyway, enough talking, enough chatter. Uh, hope you guys found that useful. And um, next video about this camper hopefully is going to be the final done, ready to take this thing out camping. And then I'll do a complete walkthrough. Talk about everything on the camper. So anyway, guys, until then, take care, and we'll see you soon.